Hola. Welcome to my cacao kitchen. I often get asked during ceremonies why my cacao tastes so good. So I'm going to show you today how to make it taste good and why. The cacao that I use is during ceremony is ceremonial grade cacao which is over $100 a kilo so I don't recommend that if you're uh, you know, not taking it seriously, but uh, I'll personally use it in the uh, cacao ceremonies, you know, for special occasions, whip it out once in a while. But for my daily ceremonies, I use store-bought cacao, which is different from ceremonial grade. Number one, it's different in price. Uh, this stuff is about $30 a kilo instead of $130 a kilo. Number two, the way it's processed is different. Um, and number three, the product itself is slightly different. So ceremonial grade is least processed and has basically the entire health benefit component to it. And then also the entire energetic component to it. Store-bought cacao, because it has been processed more, uh, will lose a bit of the energetics and um, a bit of the health benefits as well. Ceremonial grade goes from cacao seed all the way down to the cacao paste. There are many steps in between. Well, not that many, but we won't go into them now. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that, please let me know. I know way too much about chocolate, it's ridiculous. Um, but I find it super interesting, so anyway. After it's made into a paste, it will then, if it's shipped into a cold and dry environment, it'll turn into a hard block. And that's when you can blend it down and make it into a powder. Usually you'll find ceremonial grey cacao in a block form, but when it's hard and dry, you can blend it into a powder. The store-bought cacao is in powder form because this is most accessible for 99% of the population. But also because they have actually extracted a few of the fats and oils. So to make it stay as a powder, even when it's in a hot and humid environment, they need to take out some of those fats and oils so that then they can get it nice and dry and make it into a powder. So I've put about two and a half tablespoons of cacao in here, which is roughly, you know, a ceremonial dose. You can go lighter on the cacao. I recommend going lighter if you're um, pregnant. Or if you're on antidepressants, that can kind of mess with the, the chemicals in the antidepressants. Um, but because they've extracted some of the fats and oils from the store-bought cacao, I like to add a little knob of cacao butter back into the cacao. Just to um, really bring the whole product back together. Both energetically and... Um, you know, with all the physical benefits that we can get from it. So that's the cacao. If you guys are interested in learning about all the health benefits and everything, and about the energetic components, um, go to like my second or third post on my Instagram page and talk a bit about it there. Or just ask me questions. And then we have the flavour. So of course, Pure cacao is quite bitter, but you can add flavouring, it's okay, you're not going to kill the cacao spirit. I like to add coconut oil and honey. The sweetener will really add some deliciousness and take it away from that real bitterness. You can also add some um, nut milk or normal milk to make it more creamy. But the honey that I use is from our farm, so it hasn't been through any processing or been sitting on a store shelf, so that's really important to me. My coconut oil is organic from a bulk food store, 
And then, of course, when you're choosing your cacao, if it's store-bought or ceremonial grade, of course, make sure it's as organic as possible and as ethically sourced as possible. If you can't get that, it's totally fine. You're not going to die. The cacao spirit won't die. Um, but yeah, that's just one thing to keep in mind. And when looking for ceremonial grade, um, just be mindful of the companies that you go through and yeah, just look up all of their ethics statements and where it's coming from and their mission statement as well, like what's important to them. And then of course we have hot water to bring it all together. And traditionally, the Mayan and Aztec people would actually drink this cold which isn't very nice. Um, luckily we have hot water on tap these days. Very lucky. They would also traditionally add vanilla as their sweetener. They would add corn flour to make it more frothy and creamy. And they would add chili. So these days people like to add cayenne pepper instead of chili. And of course, you know, still add vanilla, whatever, whatever sweetener you want. Um, a lot of people like to add maca powder as well and all their superfoods, like their mushroom powder and everything. But I'm all about the taste, so just honey and coconut oil for me. And then the piece de resistance, stick blender. You can just add the water, mix it up with your spoon and drink up. If you don't mind finding random little clumps of co cacao powder along the way. But if you're all about the frothiness and the creaminess and deliciousness, then I highly recommend stick blender or just anything that blends hot water, anything that blends hot water. Don't use your Vitamix if it's not made to hold hot water because that can get dangerous. Um, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, if you have questions, let me know. If you would like to join one of my cacao ceremonies, please let me know. Um, I run these roughly every month or every couple of months. And it's an absolute joy. I love drinking cacao in ceremony with people. So, yeah. Drink up, enjoy, and stay safe. <laughs> Don't use hot water in a blender that's not made for hot water. Hasn't happened to me, but I can just tell it's going to happen somewhere. Anyway, enjoy.